In this video, we have to find the 2022nd digit after decimal in the value of 6 plus root 37 to 1 power 2023. So it will be easy to solve if your concept of binomial is clear. And the hint to solve this problem is if we multiply root 37 minus 6 to 1 power 2023 and root 37 plus 6 to 1 power 2023 then we can see that it is 1 because here this is a minus b and this is a plus b and we know that a minus b into a plus b will be a square minus b square so here we get root 37 square will be 37 minus 6 square will be 36 to 1 power 2023 and it will be 1 to the power 2023 and it is 1 and now we can also write root 37 minus 6 to 1 power 2023 is equal to 1 by root 37 plus 6 to 1 power 2023. Now, if we write binomial expansion of root 37 plus 6 to 1 power 2023, then it will be root 37 to the power 2023 plus 2023 c1 root 37 to the power 2022 into 6 plus 2023 c2 root 37 to the power 2021 into 6 square plus so on and similarly binomial expansion of root 37 minus 6 to 1 power 2023 will be root 37 to the power 2023 and in place of 6 here it is minus 6 so here we get minus 2023 c1 root 37 to the power 2022 into 6 and here again we get plus 2023 c2 root 37 to the power 2021 into 6 square plus so on and now here we have odd power of root 37 so it is irrational and here also we have odd power of root 37 so it is also irrational but here we have even power of root 37 so it will be rational number so if we subtract these two numbers then we will get root 37 plus 6 to the power 2023 minus root 37 minus 6 to the power 2023 is equal to here term set odd punishes will get cancelled and the term set even punishes will be two times so here we get two times 2023 c1 root 37 to the power 2022 into 6 and so on and here we will get one even power of root 37 so it will be integer so here we get root 37 plus 6 to 1 power 2023 minus root 37 minus 6 to 1 power 2023 is equal to integer and now root 
थर्टी सेवेन प्लस सिक्स टू फोन पावर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री कैन बी रिटर्न एज आई प्लस एफ हुयर आई इज इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ रूट थर्टी सेवेन प्लस सिक्स टू डी पावर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड एफ इज फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ रूट थर्टी सेवेन प्लस सिक्स टू डी पावर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री If you don't know what is integral and fractional part, then I am giving you an example. Suppose we have any number three point zero four, for example. Then we can write this as an integer three plus a fraction zero point zero four. So here three is integral part. It is called i, and this is fractional part called f. And note that f is always less than one and greater than or equal to zero. And now we can write root thirty-seven minus six to one power two thousand twenty-three. It is equal to one by root thirty-seven plus six. To four power two thousand twenty three, and root thirty seven plus six to four power two thousand twenty three is greater than one. So this four value must be less than one. So the integral part of root thirty seven minus six to four power two thousand twenty three must be zero. So here we can conclude that root thirty seven minus six. To one power two thousand twenty three is a fraction. Suppose f dash. And now we have root thirty seven plus six to one power two thousand twenty three minus root thirty seven minus six to one power two thousand twenty three is equal to integer. We have root thirty seven plus six to one power Two thousand twenty three minus root thirty seven minus six to one power two thousand twenty three is equal to integer. And now we have root thirty seven minus six to one power two thousand twenty three is equal to i minus f. It is equal to i minus f, and this is equal to f dash. So here we have minus f dash is equal to integer, and now we know that i is integer. So this f minus f dash also must be integer. So here we get f minus f dash is equal to integer. And now, f is fraction, so f should be less than one and greater than or equal to zero. And f dash is also a fraction, so f dash also should be less than one and greater than or equal to zero. So from here, we get f minus f dash must be Less than one and greater than minus one, and we also know that f minus f dash is integer. So the only integer between minus one and one is zero. So here we get f minus f dash is equal to zero, or we get f is equal to f dash. Now the problem was we have to find the two thousand twenty second digit after decimal of root thirty seven plus six to one power two thousand twenty three. So it is equal to i plus f, and it will look like some integer, then decimal, and then some fraction, and We need to find the 
2022nd digit after decimal so basically we need to find 2022nd digit of f and we know that f is equal to f dash and f dash is root 37 minus 6 to 1 power 2023 and we also know that root 37 minus 6 to 1 power 2023 is equal to 1 by root 37 plus 6 to 1 power 2023 and here root 37 plus 6 is greater than 10 so 1 by root 37 plus 6 to 1 power 2023 must be less than 1 by 10 to the power 2023 and now 1 by 10 to the power 2023 is equal to 0 0.000 dot 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 0 0.001 here the number of zeros will be 2022 zeros and now root 37 minus 6 to 1 power 2023 will be as we know that it is less than 1 by 10 to the power 2023 and any number that is less than this must contain these 2022 zeros so its value will be 0 0.000 and 0 here it must contain these 2022 zeros and the next digit must also less than 1 so here we get 0 then any digit is possible so here this is the 2022nd digit after decimal so the 2022nd digit after decimal will be 0